subscribe to my channel, Make Your Mark TV. Today I'll be telling the story of the time I tried to help my my friend, my homeboy with his crush. With who was mind you also was my friend. <laughs> Me personally I hate that kind of those kind of those, those kind of situations where I try to hook my best friend up with my friend who's my female friends. I hate that because Look, I'm a selfless person. I am. I am. I am. I'm very selfless. But when it comes to my friends, especially my female friends, just leave them be, alright? Unless they come to you and they're interested, back off, okay? Because it's just like, it's like, they're my friends. Go find, go find your own female friends, alright? No, but leave my friends alone. Man, I... <laughs> There's something I hated that, like when I was at Gordon. Uh, I used to have a lot of female friends, okay? A lot. And some of you guys would try to, you know, use me at the bridge to get to them because they would pay me no mind. But it's like, ugh. But this, anyway, this right here was, <laughs> it's not, it, 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 it's not, it wasn't on me either. This wasn't on me. So, let's get into this real quick. So, <clears throat> had a classmate named Sasha. We used to have the same class in the Zoom together. My friend Alvin had a thing for her. Like, out of nowhere. Like, literally, he just saw me walking with her one day and just went boing. Like, he got shot by Cupid. It's like he got hit by Cupid's arrow. He kept on asking me to, like... You know, find more information about her, what she like, what she into, all that stuff, right? I was hesitant about it because I'm like, um, no, do it yourself. But of course, he had our other friends jump in and they were peer pressuring me to help him. And the boy was trying too hard, right? He was trying too hard to impress. He was, I was just like, why? Why, dude? Why? My youth thing, this thing took, took about what? Almost all semester long. Pretty much, this dude, literally, I literally had to gaslight, like, this dude for him to, like, to, to, to her, to make her, to make him seem like he was, like, this perfect gentleman. Mind you, this is like story of Sasha, all right? She's a mature young woman, all right? She was, like, two, three years older than him. He was 20, 21 at the time, so... And she was you know, like she was like a proper Southern Belle. He was more of a. Uh, not gonna, I'm not. I'm not trying to do say anything bad. It's just like he was still he. In a way, the dude was still a kid. Okay, he played video games, yelling at the TV every time he lost. Listen to rap music. <laughs> mm -mm. She was into that type of stuff, except for like. She listened to, like, dance hall music, that kind of stuff, we did Zoom together, but that's about it. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, let's fast forward to, like, the, like, final attempt. Because, mind you, I did multiple attempts for how to get these two together in the same area, same time, so this dude could talk to her. But this dude was, like, so, 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 like, so, 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 so tongue-tied that, I mean, the dude didn't have the same thing. Then, no... Here comes, you no, know, our other two friends, Theodore and Simon, picking at him tomorrow. You gonna do nothing yet? <sighs> anyway, um, one night, me, Sasha, and her friend, um, Jasmine, came out, um, of Zumba. Mind you, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore were in the game room across the lounge, so they saw us. They, 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 you know, come, come in here. I said, hold on, I'll walk with y'all. I'll, I'll holler at them for a minute. This dude want to take another attempt of talking to Sasha. I'm like, okay. My you, the dude kept on pacing back and forth. My you, dude had no shoes on. He was walking around barefooted. He went to go find his flip flops, slides, or whatever. By the time we got out there, they were gone. My you, it was raining, and um, Jasmine, Jasmine, yeah, ugh, Jasmine had to get home, and Sasha had to get to her dorm because it was raining. She she had class in the morning or whatever. The case for me. And guess what these three knuckleheads do? All three of them. All three of them, including, you no, know, Alvin, the one who had a thing for this woman. 
in unison. I can do not. They do the most immature, most high school, elementary, second grader, like buffoonery I've ever seen in my life of going to say college. They run out, yell out in unison, in the darkness, calling them both the B word. Yeah. I'm just like, you know what, I'm done. I'm going back to my room and I'm just like, wow, this is what y'all about, this is what y'all about. I saw them the next day and I'm, and they told me they heard, you know, all three of them say that and they said they didn't want to be in their presence no more and all that. And it got so bad to the point where I had to literally have, make them apologize to them. Mind you, these three are knuckleheads that are so prideful that like they will not, in their mind, they're always right. I mean, I don't, I mean, in a way, I, in a way, I can't help but accept that. I mean, two of them got dreads, so, you know, dreads were twisted so tight to your head, to your scalp, into your brain cells, twist your, things that you get everything twisted. <laughs> cool, whatever. But, um, it's just like, I have to force these, these guys to send a snatch apology to them. And they said the apology, cool, but yeah, she didn't want no pieces of him ever again. And I don't blame her because, like, some girls, I'm not going to lie, I've seen some girls who take that as a compliment. A guy calls them that, and they take it as a compliment. They move on. Like, y'all give a second chance. Them two, not a chance. Y'all ain't getting nothing from them. And I was like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh man, I was like, I'm gonna lie. I, again, I knew it was gonna work because dude, she, Sasha was out of his league, and that's my just my opinion. All right, she is out of his league. All right, she was out of his league, out, out of his league. <laughs> like without a shadow of a doubt, I said again, out of his league. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> dude, she. Stop being a try hard for girls who are not interested in you. Okay, just stop. Just stop. Just stop. And, you know, after that, he did find himself a girlfriend. And he thought the reason why he didn't get Sasha because of the way he was dressed. Dude went from, you know, Jersey Shore to Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Um, sweaters, jeans, and Timberlands and dress shoes and all this. Mind you, I mean, the dude's shallow, obviously. <laughs> I mean, literally, you have to dress up for a girl to notice you. Okay. Looks ain't everything, but okay. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much, you know, the story of that <laughs> little fumble situation. I hope you enjoyed this little video, and you know, see you next time on Mickey Mark TV. Work, work, work.